presentation today was just an update on where we are with systemic mastocytosis. Um, I talked through the classification, the new WHO classification, which has had some minor changes from the 2008 classification, uh, in that we've lost one entity, which was an extracutaneous sarcoma, and we've looked at uh, maybe having a couple of other entities of subdividing the aggressive disorders into those that go into transformation and the indolent disorders with some bone marrow involvement without skin involvement. And then it was looking at the clinical classification. So the first half was making the diagnosis and the diagnostic criteria. The second half was the clinical classification with what treatment options are available at the moment. The data was the new WHO classification, uh, which is available for everyone to see. The changes are minor. Uh, predominantly one, uh, which is AHN from AHNMD, because that was a mouthful, that was the easiest change. The second are subclassifications. Uh, the second part of it was just how to make the diagnosis. That doesn't really need the data, it's just this is such a rare disorder and it's very complex in its classification so that people understand how to make the diagnosis in the first instance. And then I presented some data on some of the clinical trials with the new targets. Take home messages, one, very rare, but not unheard of, so make sure you look. If you don't look, you don't see, and then you don't find, and they're more common than we think in patients with NPM. Take home message two, clinically, most of the patients are indolent and they just need symptomatic treatment with anti-mediator therapy. However, there are more and more smaller uh, percentages of aggressive patients uh, or patients with aggressive systemic mastocytosis rather than aggressive patients who now have access to targeted therapy which may make a difference to their lives which we've never been in that position before. So mydostorin is one uh, that we have a phase 3 trial for but uh, new molecules are appearing, uh, BLUE285 and DCC2618 which are appearing as phase 1 trials which our UK patients will have access to uh, which will be fantastic.